Welcome back. Please share, subscribe, and comment. Overview of how work relates to kinetic and potential energy. Answer. Title. Overview of how work relates to kinetic and potential energy. In the world of physics, work, kinetic energy, and potential energy are interconnected concepts that play a fundamental role in how our universe operates. Understanding these principles not only helps us comprehend natural phenomena, but also aids in designing technologies that leverage these forces. Let's begin by defining each term. 1. Work. In physics, work is defined as the force required to move an object a certain distance. If you're pushing a heavy box across the room, you're doing work on it. 2. Kinetic energy. This is the energy possessed by an object due to its motion. A running athlete, or a moving car both have kinetic energy. 3. Potential energy. This refers to stored energy within an object due to its position or state. A. Book on a shelf has gravitational potential energy because it can fall down. Similarly, a stretch rubber band has elastic potential energy because it can snap back. Now let's look at how they relate. Work and kinetic energy. The relationship between work and kinetic energy is described by the work energy theorem. The theorem states that the net amount of mechanical work done on an object equals the change in its kinetic energy. Consider this example. If you push your stalled car into motion, you are applying force, doing work, over some distance causing your car to accelerate from rest, zero kinetic, up until it reaches certain speed, increase kinetic. Hence here we see how your applied work translated into increasing your car's kinetic motion energy. Work and potential energy. When we do work against gravity to lift an object or pull back on a bowstring, in case of archery, we are storing potential energy in these systems which can be converted back into other forms like sound, heat, or even light when released, think dropping something from height or releasing bowstring propelling arrow forward. Here's an example. When you lift a book from the floor and place it on a shelf, you do work against gravity to move it upward. This work gets stored as potential energy in the book, which can be released if the book falls back down. Kinetic and Potential Energy the relationship between kinetic and potential energy is seen in many natural phenomena like swinging pendulums or roller coasters where at certain points all energy is kinetic at bottom of swing or ride, while at other times it's all potential at top. In ideal scenarios, these two forms of energy can convert back and forth without any loss.